Well, today's interior day in a 1969 Corvette is not a super complicated interior. What we did is we got brand new seat covers. Gary at Diamond took apart the seats, put in new buns, it looks brand new. Carpeting, fairly straightforward. You just want to make sure that it's glued down properly so it lies down so there's no bubbles. The dash, we used the original dash. It was in mint condition. All we did is clean it. We happen to have a, a set of great original door panels. Again, all we did is clean them, installed them, made sure we put in all new hardware, door handles, the lock knobs, the window winders, made sure all the chrome for all the vents and all the pull knobs are brand new. Those are the details that make the interior look perfect. If you want to go to the extreme like we did with this, you want to make sure you've got a new rear view mirror, make sure you have all the plating done on the sun visors and all the stainless and all the chrome should be replated. That's what makes for a great interior. Now, the interior, like I said, is fairly simple, but the convertible top takes an expert like Gary from Diamond Upholstery. Peter, before the top comes off, there's a few things you got to check to make sure this whole job is going to go smoothly. You know, anytime you're working with a top that's over 20 years old, you got pins, guides, bushings that are going to wear out, so it causes the top to not work as good as it did when it was brand new. Peter, once the frame's on the car, there's a lot of adjusting to be done. Um, start with adjusting, trying to get back to the original points where the convertible top was originally mounted. We scribed a little line just to know where the frame originally started. It's a little bit of a time saver. It'll help us out, right? Uh, then we go into latching mechanisms, make sure the top is functional up and down, Ease of operations is key here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to install the weather strips just temporarily. Like we might have to adjust them one more time. We're going to fit the drivers and the passenger door glass to make sure the doors close easily and it's not hard to roll the window up and down. Anytime you're working with new rubbers, they're not always exactly as the original. If you want this top to look good, start with good looking pads and you'll end up with a good looking top. Uh, pads serve a number of functions. They keep all the bows in sync, helps the top fold down properly, and it also it, it relieves the uh, look of a skeleton here. So everything's nice and smooth. You have a nice consistent line going with it, and it helps the top, top up and down as you're folding it. Uh, the process of putting on uh, pads, Peter, uh, the pads come uh, two flaps sewn on either side. Uh, they're installed on the back. Um, once you've secured the tacking strips, you staple down your, whole, your liner pad, a piece of foam is installed in between the pad. Once you're happy with all the adjustments you made on the convertible top frame, your pads are all in place, everything's functioning up and down properly, uh, we'll start to put the top on it. What we'll do from there, Peter, first of all, check the bow height. This height from the top of the rear bow to the bottom, absolutely critical. Uh, different manufacturers have different bow heights for different tops. Once that's done, uh, we're going to secure the rear anchor. The top's going to be tucked. And there's a little filler strip, and then there's also a weather strip. That'll all be installed. We'll go to the front. We'll pull it, taunt on the front, install the uh, filler strip there. It's all stapled there. And go back to the back. This is what it's called uh, a wire on. It's stapled across here. A couple little caps put on the end. And then we'll pull the sides. We'll wrap the sides. And once again, do the final in, uh, adjustment on the weather strips just to make sure that nothing's moved there. So then you've got a perfect fitting top that's functional and looks good.